This section we're going to be going over flashing LEDs. The first thing we're going to do is show you how to produce some traffic lights. The next video will be quite important. That's the one where you connect up your Raspberry Pi to a breadboard with all the electronic bits and pieces. Don't uh, open the electronics bag yet or put anything together. You need to watch this video first and then watch the next one. The next video is the important one. The reason we're going to do it in this order is because we can actually uh, build a virtual set of lights which means that the same code can be written for the virtual lights and for the LED lights. So that's why we're going to show how this works. So here's typical UK traffic lights signals. The first sequence is stop and the second sequence means check to get ready to, to pull away. This third sequence means you're free to go through and the fourth statement says the stop sign is about to be shown so get ready to stop. So that's what they all mean. So I'm going to give these names just to make it easier in the code. This one we're going to call stop. That one I'm going to call check and this one we're going to call go and this one we're going to call slow. So those are the meanings although later on when I go through the video I, I might get the meanings mixed up but it, it doesn't matter as long as we, we use those names then uh, for the logic we'll be fine. So it's stop, check, go and slow. So those are the, the sequences we're going to work to. So what we're going to do is build three lamps and the lamps can either be on or off and there's three coloured lamps basically, a red lamp, a yellow lamp and a green lamp. First thing we're going to do is build the lamps. So we go in there and we're going to build, first of all let's have a red lamp. So the red lamp can be like that. If we go into the costume we're going to call that costume on because that lamp, when it's showing red that means the lamp is on. Uh, so we'll copy that and this lamp we're going to make this an off and to make that look like it's off we're going to paint that grey so let's just paint that grey so that's off and that other one is on so there's our red lamp that will be the red lamp now we'll copy this red lamp duplicate it and actually we go back to red lamp and give it a name we, we'll, we'll call it red bulb just so it's easy for us whilst we're developing this to know where we are. So that's red bulb. Then we'll go into the next one and we'll call that yellow bulb. That's yellow bulb and we'll make another one whilst we're doing that. And we'll call that green bulb. That's green bulb. So there we go, we got our three bulbs. Let's go back to this bulb so I know that we need to change that. This is our yellow bulb, so it's not yellow at the moment. Let's make it yellow. There we go, we made that yellow. And let's make our green bulb green instead of red. So we make that green. And we use the paint box. And that should give us a green bulb. So we'll order those in the position that they would be for a set of traffic lights, which is like that. So now we've got our lights, what we want to do is we want to look at two conditions. We will receive a message, so the lamp box, which is the red bulb lamp box, needs to receive a message that says switch me on or switch me off. So the message will be one that we define and we're going to let that message be when I receive there isn't any message at the moment so let's introduce a new message and that message is going to be red off so that's switching the red bulb off so we call that red off when I receive red off then we're going to swap costumes so let's go into the looks and we're going to pick this, this out here you can see already by default it's showing so if you look in here we've got our two costumes on and off so we're going to be showing the off one when we receive a message read off we're going to show the off costume now we've got that let's duplicate this whole thing 
and when we're going to have another message that we're going to introduce called red on. That's red on. And that obviously is going to be to swap the costume to the on costume. I'll run this one. There you go. And it's off. Switch the red lamp on and switch the red lamp off. So that works. Now if I just copy both of these into the other lamps and then we can just modify those. Let's do that saves a lot of time put that in there put that in there so now we have all our lamps working what we're going to do now is have a special actor and all he's going to do is he's going to be a switch control so we don't need a costume for him but the system won't allow you to have no costume at all so we just put a little white dot here so that it allows it to work uh, so we've got a costume here which is just a white dot and we can ignore it, it we're not going to be using the costume but we uh, we want to give it a, a sensible name so let's call it switch box that's a good name for it because that's what it's going to do it's it is a switch box our lamps are waiting for messages so we're going to make the switch box send those messages now remember our traffic lights image so what do we want our switch box to do we want our switch box to set for stop for the stop condition it needs to set the red lamp to on the yellow lamp and green lamp to off so let's do that stop condition first so we're going to introduce a new message so let's introduce a new message and we're going to say when i receive stop so let's call it the message stop and what he's going to do when he receives that message stop he's going to send red on he's going to set broadcast the message red on remember we've already defined those messages so that's red on and another one let's just repeat that one and that one repeat it again and he's going to have two more messages and it's going to be yellow off and green off if we end the script so let's just test that what that should do now is just switch these two off and switch that one on let's switch those two on just so we can see what's going on so I'm going to manually switch those on so switch on the green one oh hang on switch on the green one so I've just manually switched all of those on so when I activate this stop lamp those two should get switched off there you go and the red light come on so we've got our first switch control in our switch box so let's make another switch control by duplicating that one and what would be the next one the next one would be yellow lamp on and green lamp off so that's really easy all we need to do is just stick the yellow lamp on on this one uh, yellow on and give it a new message not that we're using these messages yet but we will do so we'll get those in ready and that will be a message called check so let's just check that check box there we go red and yellow go back to the red one and that shows red on its own so we'll duplicate that so we've got four conditions and all so I might as well duplicate another one and get it ready so let's look at this one now this one will be the yellow off and the green on so the red off so red off green off and hang on what we're we gonna call that we're gonna call that go so let's just give you the name go so the green needs to be on uh, so the green on where's the green on ah we haven't got a green on I wonder why that is let's make a green on right green on uh, yellow off and red off let's just check the green bulb make sure that we've got yeah we've got green off and green ah look we've got two green offs there that's why it's wrong so we want that one to be green on so we didn't set a green on message okay so now that should be just check that one there we go that's working right let's check it again with those two yeah good finally what's the last one we need 
Ah, that's just the yellow on and the other's off, so the red needs to be off on that one. And we'll give that a new message. We'll call that slow. So that's that one. Just check that one. Yep, good. So they're all working. Okay, so now we've got a switch box, and the switch box just receives four messages. Actually, let's add another one. I'm going to add another one here called Power Down, which switches them all off. It gives that a new name. And what would be a good name? Power Down. Let's just call it Power Down. So that ensures that all the lamps are off. In other words, we just switch the traffic light completely off. So all the lamps are off there, and that's called Power Down. So now we've got our switches box completely finished. Uh, it doesn't need for a, for a traffic light signal. It doesn't need to do anything else. That's all the signal box needs to do. It needs to have uh, instructions to light the lights under the different conditions: the stop condition, the check condition, the go condition, and the slow condition. So we've covered all of those. We've got all of those covered now. So the next thing we're going to do is send the messages to these uh, to the to the switch box, and so this is where we build our stage script. All he's going to want to do really is just send those broadcast messages one after the other. We'll put a little delay in between each one. If we didn't put a delay in between each of those transitions, it, the lamps would just move real fast. We wouldn't be able to see it properly. So we'll we'll put some pauses in. So let's define. Let's just put the click on there first. So when we click that, it'll start the lamps going, and we'll define some. Let's just define some variables called stop, pause. So that's going to be used for the timer, just to just to stop. Let's set another one in here. Let's make another variable. We're going to call that one check pause, pause. So that's that one done. And we'll make another one, and we're going to call that uh, go pause, like that. And we'll make another one called slow pause. So you can see I'm making a, a pause for each one of those messages that we set up, the slow check go and stop messages. So we've got all of those now, I think. Uh, oh, let's do a power down pause as well. Okay, so power down, pause. Maybe we don't need one, but I'm going to just define another variable called repeat count, just so that we can repeat the sequence a few times. So now we go into our controls, and the logical one to use then is repeat. And in the repeat, we're going to put the variable repeat count. Of course, we could have just put the number three in there, but it's nice to use variables, just tidier. Um, good habit to get into as well. I'm going to do it in this order. Slow down, stop, check, go. Doesn't really matter. We could start with the stop, but let's start with the slow down just to show that we can. Okay, we haven't got a... Yeah, there we go. Slow. Let's broadcast that. And we're going to wait a little bit. So let's wait. And remember, what we're going to wait, we've got that slow pause, that check pause. Where's the slow pause? Did we put a check pause in there? Oh, look, we haven't actually... Oh, slow pause. Hang on. We haven't put these in. So slow pause. And what was it? Go pause. And what was this one? Um, power down pause. And let's put another broadcast in for the next one. And that's going to be... What's that going to be after the slowdown? That's going to be stop, isn't it? So we'll put stop. And again, we're going to have a pause in there. So let's just duplicate that. Take that out. Oh, in fact, leave that ready for the next one. And the next uh, broadcast after stop, what we're going to broadcast? Check. So let's do the check. And then let's duplicate those two. Put that underneath. And the other one's going to be, what's the other one after check? It's going to be go, isn't it? So go, duplicate those two again, put that underneath. And what's after go? Uh, that would be power down, wouldn't it? So we'll power down the whole lot. Now the reason we're going to power down is to make sure all the lamps are switched off. Uh, maybe we don't need this, but it's nice to ensure that all the lamps are switched off before we start the 
go back to the beginning of the loop again. So that's what we've done here. It doesn't do any harm. And uh, we've got a, a, a wait there for that one as well. So let's put a wait in after that one. And that's all of them, I think. So let's put in the variables for the wait. So for the slow, we want the the slow pause variable. So let's stick that in. And for the stop, we want the stop pause variable. So now in theory, that should all work. And let's run it, see if there's any errors. Well, yeah, it started off OK. There's the green. And it's green, yeah, waiting a bit longer than the others. There's a slow. Yeah, stop, check, go. Slow, stop, check, go. Yeah, that's it. OK, great, no errors. Now, if we go into these bulbs, what we've got at the moment is just a costume change. Now, um, whenever you start up this uh, scratch on the Raspberry Pi that I've given you, you'll notice there's that little uh, pop-up box that says about the connection. And that's to do with connecting up to the GPIOs. In here, what we do is we can broadcast a message to the GPIOs they've specified a set of these uh, messages for us so all we need to do is remember what they are and I know what they are we're gonna say broadcast so this is not going to do anything until we've connected up the actual LEDs but I'm gonna put it in here ready and I know that the ones that they've defined behind the scenes is pin 11 low so this is a variable that the system uses to be able to talk to the GPIO and that's all we need to do, we don't need to know anything more than that so whenever we issue this broadcast if we've got LEDs connected via a breadboard onto the GPI pins then that pin will send out a, a small voltage and if we stick a little LED on the end of it it'll light up of course we've got the inverse of that is pin high uh, sorry, I've got that back to front. Uh, yeah, this switches it off, so we want the uh, the inverse to that. So let's duplicate that. Don't need that, and we'll put that in here. So this one will be pin 11 high. And the same for the others. I'll quickly do these, and then I'll, I'll show you them all done. Right, so there's pin 15, that's to do with the red. So the pin 15 will be the red lead. If we set pin 15 low, the lamp, uh, the actual LED itself, if it's connected, will go out. And if we set pin 15 high, the LED will go on. And of course, at the same time, our costumes will change. So this is nice. So we not only will the LED lamps go on, but we'll be able to see this exactly the same transition on the screen, on the computer screen. So when the red LED bulb is on, so our red costume will be shown so we'll have a virtual set of traffic lights on the computer screen and the actual LEDs actually uh, showing the same condition so that's a really nice feature the same with the yellow we got for the yellow I've used pin 13 for the yellow I could have used like say 11 or 15 but uh, I've decided to use pin 13 for the yellow for the green we've used pin 11 so it's only the three pins we'll be using it 11 13 and 15 and the next video will go through all of those pin definitions and it'll show you physically how to fix in the leads into the Raspberry Pi board and you've got to get that bit right you've only got one there that I'm sending you uh, and if you if you actually damage it you'll have to buy yourself another one. They're not expensive but you don't want to have to go through that process it's just a bit frustrating. So if you follow the next video very carefully there's no need for you to, to damage the board. That's it really so I've just shown you the traffic lights and they're nicely working. Let's go back and yeah they're all working nicely. Let's check it again. There you go. Red, yellow, green and green waits a long time. Slow go, uh, stop, check, go. That's all we need to look at. So there you go, we've got a set of traffic lights and they're all wired up ready for the LEDs to be connected. So once we've done the wiring up and what we'll do is we'll run a little test to make sure it's wired up okay and then we'll run this script again you'll see the real LEDs working and then of course after that I'll give you a, a nice little tutorial where you can do some interesting things with the LEDs. So that's it, see you on the next one.